Hello and welcome back. I am going to find some parrots. Whilst I didn't find it last episode, I am sure that there is uh, a jungle around the mangrove, so it's time to go back there. I maybe should put some more torches on the floor because that is actually never where I think it is. On the way back, maybe. Let's go find some jungle. Oh, right there. That's convenient. Brought some seeds with me. Hopefully, we can find some parrots. I have not seen a single parrot so far. There's actually nothing living in these at all. Very weird. Okay, gonna see if I can find another bit of jungle because that had nothing in it at all. Yep, oh, more jungle. I do like the jungle biomes, but I feel like you have to, unless you're doing a very jungly build, you have to really kind of strip them back to make them work. But it kind of defies the point of them being jungles then, doesn't it? What's that one? That biome called where it's like half jungle, half plains, because that's one of my favourites. I love the colours of the grass and stuff, it's just so silly and over the top. Will we see a panda? That's a cow. Oh, <gasps> panda! Hi. Yes? Can't give you any more. Okay. Just having a break. Very sensible. Okay, I'll I'll leave you to it. Oh, there's another one down there. Oops. Come on. You're endangered, go make more. Oh, <gasps> snotty nose baby! You're gonna sneeze. Adorable. Go on, sneeze. Spooky parents. He's not going to do it, is he? Oh, I missed it. Thank you for trying, anyway. Go on, I want to see you sneeze again. Thank you. Anyway, back to parrots. I've been pleasantly distracted for too long. I just made my bamboo farm. I could have just come here. Oh well, if I ever need any more in a hurry, I know where to come. Still zero trace of a parrot, but I have found a village. Oh, that's adorable, you're in the jungle. Hi. One of the future settlements in this world is gonna have to be a jungle settlement, because it's I love the colours here. I love the muted colours of the spruce and the mountains, but I do love the the absurd vividness of the jungles. I heard a cat. I've got one of those. I think I'm missing I think it's the tuxedo, or is it the pure black? And the jelly. I think they're the last two that I'm missing. Coral reef out here too. That's good to know. This should be quite an easy spot to get back to. And pillagers. Got up here just fine. Uh, got a horn. Which one's that? It's that one. Wow, there's a lot of them. See you in about three weeks. I think they're spawning in as fast as I'm killing them, so... Come on. And now it's time to leave. Got some treasure. Got some little blue guys. Will they follow me? Who knows? Oh, their creepy laugh is following me. Back to the task at hand. Parrots. I don't want a load of crossbows. Go away. There's an ocelot. But there's no parrots. Yo, can you guys find me parrots? Because I'm still in 1.19, I don't think I can duplicate these guys. I maybe should just update. I might just wait until we get to 1.20 and then I can work on duplicating them. I have no need for them. I don't need these little guys, that's why I've never sought them out. But uh, while they're here, I'll have them. I do not like their giggling. But I do like all these hills, look at that. This might be quite a nice place to put a settlement someday. I might take the, uh, might take the coordinates of this. Hi. I don't think I can feed you anything, I'm sorry. I'm going to go get some milk. Also got some cows here and get rid of all this bad omen. Thank you. Let's put it back in my ender chest. Please, birds, where are you? I heard a parrot. Where are you? There you are! Ha ha. I have one. Hopefully that means there's more around. 
I would like two. I would like to get one of every colour at some point, but for today I would definitely like to get two. Please, just one more parrot. Please. Oh my gosh, there's two. Come hither, come hither, children. Let me tame the other one. Let me tame it. Thank you. I think I'm going to leave it at three for now. I'm sure there's a couple of other colours. Pretty sure there's a red. That might just be it. But I think I'm going to, unless I find the red on the way home, I think I'm just going to start making my way home. I've got three parrots, two alays, alays, alulas, whatever they are. Yeah, you giggly things. I think I'm quite far from my portal now. Yeah, like a thousand either way. And I have to go on foot because the things won't follow me if I fly. Delightful. There it is, my laggy mangrove. Everybody still here? Got three parrots, two blue things. Yes. Is that it? I think that's it. I think that's my portal. Take me home, take me home, take me home, take everybody home. Come on, you better follow me. Does anybody come with me? If these despawn, I'm going to scream. I might have to come back for the allays and get them with leads. Don't know where my parrots have gone. There's one. There's a parrot, there's a parrot. I have three parrots and one blue dude. That seems fine to me. I'm going to leave it at that for now. I can come back for that other allay at any point because he's got a he's got a lump of dirt with him, so he shouldn't. I don't think he'll despawn. He might. Oh, there I am. Completely the wrong way. Doesn't matter. Oh, one came through. Right, you sit. Oh. Oh, we went through that side. Excellent. Get out. Get out the hole. Thank you. You just sit there a moment. Gonna go get the others. Yes, that's the green one. Come on. Sit. Thank you. Get on my shoulder if you like. How do I get you? Thank you. Are you on my shoulder? Yes, you are. There we are. That's everyone through. Well, all the parrots through anyway. Right, come on. Home. Safe and sound. Hope you like Dancing to Cat, because it's the only album I've got, and I've got six of it, I think. All right, back in for the LA's. Yeah, you. We'll go and get your brother first. Oh good, the other one is still here. There we are. They're both here. Comparing their dirt. Yep, it's very good. It's very good. How do you breed parrots? Because I thought it was seeds, but apparently not. Can you Can you even breed parrots? Bye. Maybe you can't breed parrots. I don't think I've ever seen baby parrots, so maybe you can't. Maybe you just have to find them. In which case, these are extra precious. Now then, back to the actual task for the episode. That was only supposed to take me 20 minutes. It took me two hours. As is always the way. You can plan nothing. I was going to build the big square today, and I think I'm going to do that, but I think I will literally just build the top of the square and the sides. I'm not going to put any buildings on, I don't think. I've got some ideas for buildings. I'm kind of sketching stuff out and deciding how I want stuff to look, but I don't want to start on that just yet. I'll just get the foundation in and uh, leave it at that for today and wonder why I missed these two little bits of path, but I did. So I think I need to do a little bit more tree clearing and probably fill in a little bit more of the river maybe a bit on this side as well. Don't want it too uniform, don't want it too symmetrical. Maybe just where the dirt already is, just build it up that extra layer. Yeah, I'll probably do that here. And similar on this side, I might follow that kind of line where the sand is rather than the dirt. Just to square it off a little. Yeah, just a little bit. So, trees down, dirt in, figure out how much space I've got. I don't want the square to be huge because I do still want there to be buildings around it and I don't want it to encroach too much into the river. I like a little bit of it hanging into the river like you see in um, some European cities and things where the old the old buildings literally hang over the river. That would be kind of cool. My current idea, whether or not I go ahead with it fully, but my current idea, there'll be this square where there's going to be the watering hole and everything for the horses and then there'll be the path that goes off towards the main town. But around it, there'll be like this cram of buildings. There'll be things like taverns and shops and market halls. Everybody's crowding into this one main traffic area. And then as it gets closer to the farmland, it begins to thin out again and it becomes roads and back to being just little houses on their own or little farm buildings. But this initial entry to the city might be absolutely packed with people trying to sell things. And if I ever do come to build on this side, I'll probably have a similar thing have another kind of area here where people gather I have some more stalls and things and then again thin it out into housing and farm buildings as we go out into the plains. When we're finished here there's probably going to be at least three taverns. I like the idea of there being quite a big one here that's maybe a bit old but it's pleasant. 
And I quite like the idea of there being a small one down here in this working dock area that's small and cramped, but it's very familiar to the people who use it. And then to have another one that's over here in the mines, which is very rough and run down and very old, that it's a tavern where really only the workers go and it's some um, rowdy. A nice one in the town, a kind of mid one around the dock, and then a rowdy one up here in the mines. Maybe the one up here in the mines isn't technically supposed to be here. I've also captured, captured? I've also harvested some of the leaves. I've captured them, they were running. I have harvested some of these leaves because I was running very, very low. I actually think I've completely run out of both birch and oak. I think I've maybe got one stack of oak at most. But I decided to get those rather than just letting them fall. And yeah, I've put the, I've done everything, basically. Go and empty these. I may as well leave that here. And then we'll start actually building the square, which really won't take long, I don't think. That'll be an hour or two at most. Oh, I did have birch in here. That's all right. I've got a separate leaf box. So I didn't notice that there was birch in there. I might go fix my tools again. All of this wear and tear on my sword is exclusively from the bamboo. Here we are. This is everything all fixed up. Back to where we should be. It kind of sound a little bit like when a pan lid is dropped and it like circles around on the floor until it settles. Yeah, you're a pan lid. Anyway, I have come to realise I do not actually have that much dirt left. I've used it so much recently. I do have some in here, but I'm trying to keep this as a stockpile. So I might go get some more dirt. I don't want to dig up the plains, which I'm at some point going to probably be building on. Even if it's a different settlement, I'll probably still be building on it. And everywhere else around here is kind of forest. I might just fly far away and take some shulkers and get many shulker boxes full. Do I want to decimate this village? I might leave this village because if I decide I want to build a plains settlement it would be easier to just use the villages that are already here. I'm just going to pinch their beds though. Oh, there's no bed in here. Betrayal. So I don't think I want to dig up too much around here just in case I do want to use this village. Oh, villagers. I think I've been to this one. Although there's no hole in the roof, so maybe not. But the iron golem is free, so maybe I freed it last time I was here. I don't remember. Oh well, a flower biome here. I was looking for flowers last episode. Weird rocks. Since I'm not going to build near a pillager tower, because even if you take the tower down, I think the pillagers will just continue to spawn there. It's very annoying. I think I'll maybe do this hill. I'm not going to use this landscape anyway. I may as well. Did I steal? I didn't steal the bed. Do I have one in my ender chest? Yes, I keep multiple ender chests on me at all times. There's not a bed. Oh, no, there it is. I thought there was one. There we go. This should be enough, I think. I've got three full shulkers, some's grass, some's dirt, and then there's just bit oops, just bits in other ones. That's the only empty one. I've also used two shovels. I forgot that I had the second one in my end chest. So now I've got to go home and repair two shovels. I think I'll hang about and sleep first. Right, home again, I think. Well. Right, home again, I think it's this way. There's quite a few um, cool mountain rangey bits around here as well. That is nothing like as far away as I thought it was. Oh well. There we are, back up to some healthy levels. And that's including the stuff I already have put aside in the shulker box for later. Now, fix those shovels. Done. These are all cool, by the way. I'm now onto these ones. The one with silk touches, that is the one in my hand there. So that's the one for there. Is that the fortune one? Yes, it is. Okay, back you go. Now, I need to get on with my building. I think I just need this for now, because I'm just counting out the spacing. Now, I don't think... I'll bother time-lapsing this because it's going to be pretty boring. I'm just going to mark out the dimensions. So I'll just probably cut back to when it's done. That seems a more effective way of doing it. This is the setup for the interior of the square. So all the buildings are going to be on the outside of this square. Nothing's really going to encroach too much into it. So it's not massive. 
It's got enough breathing room to be kind of comfortable, but it's not tiny either. It's a nice welcoming square. It's going to have buildings crammed around it, market stalls ideally, make it very pretty. And then as we wind back towards the towards the town and the sunset, we'll start to get different levels of the town, maybe rise up a little bit again, maybe more will drop back down to the, the grass level, and then it'll go back into the farmland a little. Now, I'll go get the stuff and I think I will just make this. But I'm not going to put anything on it today. I'm not going to put any buildings around it today because my mind keeps going a little bit too much towards medieval designs, which isn't what I have for this town. I don't really know what this town is. I know I said Viking-y and it's, it's mildly leaning that way. Where am I going? Where am I going? But I, I don't want to go too far away from what we've already built here and the stuff that's come into my mind at the moment I don't think fits. So I'm just going to leave it for now. We'll go do some other projects once this is done and try and get some better designs before I commit to something. Okay, I think this is everything I need. I've just got everything spread out in boxes for ease, but it, it's it's not that big a job, so I'm just going to get on with it. I'll see you back in like an hour or so. This is it. I have stopped here for now. I have not put the walls in because I realised there's actually quite a bit of distance before we hit the water so the buildings are going to take up the space. There's no point putting sides in when buildings are going to be going in this place anyway so for now we just have a lovely floating thing. It's got some decoration in the floor. I like the idea that it looks quite tarnished. It's not something that they've kept up wonderfully. It's not a, a beautifully maintained square. It is a little tatty. And there's a big fountain which is actually very deep I suppose. It does unfortunately block the view. When you're up here it does block the view of the gatehouse, but I realised that the buildings are going to do that anyway, so you can kind of still see bits. You can see that there's something back there and you can see the shapes on the hill, so it's not too big a deal. And then off to the sides. For now we've just got these little horse drops, some little places to uh, tie your horse up and let it feed. I would like to put maybe a stable or a farrier around here so that the horses can be tended to have that as one of the businesses that's crammed into this spot. But for now, because you probably don't want to dunk your horse in the giant very deep fountain, the horses just have little water troughs. There are also these kind of gutters in the road because I imagine this would get a lot of horse traffic, so any kind of muck would just get swept into these little gullies so that it doesn't spread all over. And depending on what builds we put where, I will swap out some of these stone bricks to be mossy stone bricks so that it actually has a bit more wear and tear. This uh, stone section is a little clean I, I, I kind of want some places to be clean and some places to be a bit more tattered. I kind of want each little build to have character, so maybe some of the shops or some of the merchant stores are kind of quite run down, maybe they're assembled very quickly or they're very tattered, and then some of them are very, very neatly kept. A lot of pride taken in them. But yes, I need to do a lot of design work on this first, so we need to move on and go do something else. This is it for now. The foundation is here. I don't have to worry about trying to fit builds in around a square that doesn't exist yet. I think that I might take some of my horses and go tether them up. I've got absolutely tons of them now gathering in that stable. Horses in. I think they work scale-wise. I actually can't wait. It's going to be so long off, but I can't wait until we've got like free roaming villages and stuff. Can you imagine people wandering around here and maybe there being other livestock? Maybe somebody's moving some sheep or some cattle through as well. And all the buildings crammed around. It's going to be lovely, isn't it? Now I think for the rest of this episode I am going to make somewhere for the Allays to stay. I think I'll put the parrots in place, or at least some of them. 
Oh, yes, I did research. You can't read them and there's two more colours. I need a red one and there's like a kind of tealy green equivalent of the macaw. So uh, we'll go get those at some point. I uh, really want to put these somewhere because the noises are creeping me out. They're so cute though. Once I update my world, I may very well put them in my bamboo farm. Because bamboo is a pain in the butt to harvest when it's falling between all the other bamboo stalks. So they might go in there one day. For now, as I've only got two, I want to just store them so that nothing happens to them. They don't wander off, they don't get stuck somewhere or whatever. So we should find somewhere nice to put them. And naturally, naturally, they're going in this cave space. I might actually just put them next to the bamboo farm so that they, uh, I don't have to move them tremendously far next time I want to move them. Yeah, I might put them in here. Might turn this little corner into a little aquarium or vivarium or whatever. Whilst we're here, more of this bamboo is growing taller, but maybe only four or five of the stems kind of along the length. I really don't know why they're only hitting half height and then stopping. I might just put another band of torches in there and see if that helps. If I jump, can I hit that spot? Close enough. Yeah, that's certainly got rid of most of that kind of greyish band. So we'll see during the course of this little build here how much this grows, if anything. Got some stuff ready, time to make them a little home. Ta-da! A cute little cosy cave for the LA's. I'm actually, for now, going to pop them behind glass. It might seem a bit grim, but it keeps them safe. It's a bit weird, but it's cute enough. I might actually change that angle because that's making too many white lines. Yeah, that's, that'll do for now. Might might get rid of this one. Puts more of a white line in, but it also takes away that sharp corner. Yeah, I'll just keep them in there for now. And yeah, I think the bamboo was definitely a light issue. Let's harvest it and see how much we get. And that was all from one harvest. So it's pretty much doubled what I was getting. I think I'm quite happy with it as it is. I think I don't need to waste the iron on chains and lanterns. But anyway, yes, let's go get those allays. Where's the other one? Where's your lead gone? There it is. Come here. To walk nice and slowly so they don't get caught and they have the lead snap because they're going to. Yes, one already has. I might have to do this one at a time. Wait, if I give them the cookies now, will they stop trying to get to things? Have some cookies. Come on. Nope, still trying to get to things. Oh, got them both in anyway. There we are. Adorable. I hope they stay. I hope they don't despawn. I feel like because they've got something in their hands, they shouldn't do. Last job for the day. I need... Well, I don't need to, but I want to move a parrot onto the that we've got in the harbour. Which one? I'm thinking blue. I'm thinking blue's got quite a nice sailor vibe. As I've said before, I will probably name every... well, no, probably about it. I will name every single pet as and when I've got a reliable source of name tags. At the moment, I do not. Always got to get stuck somewhere, haven't you? Thank you. Where shall I put you? Like you near the front. Please land. <laughs> Yes, stay there. That'll do. And shoo shoo around from here. Oh, that'll do. Yes, very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Perfect. And you, you are the one most like a canary. So you are going in the mines. Well, you're not going in the mine. You're going in the, the cave at the top of the mine. Where are you going? Were you the one that was flying up really high last time? Oh, this is a sight. Go on. Go on. Go on. Beautiful. Lovely little canary. Kind of. But on that note, I think that's it for this episode. Because we've spent so long down at the um, at that new town bit, I think I'm going to come back here next episode. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think I will, actually. I think I'll come back here. I'll maybe sort out the big drop that I mentioned here. Having the big mine all the way down. Figuring out something to do with water. I did want a pond in here. I wanted all these water, water streams out of the uh, geodes to be leading into one place. I wanted some kind of water powered lift in here, so maybe next episode we'll do this sort of thing. That once we've got all the, the main groundwork in, we know where water is, we know where the big holes are, we can then go in 
with things like the rail carts and then deciding where the other cranes are going to go because obviously they need to line up with the rail carts as well. That's my thinking for next episode. So I shall call it here for today. Thank you again for joining me. I hope very much that you enjoyed the episode and I also hope to see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>